Folks, welcome to yet another 100 before 40 race review, race update. Today, folks, we're going to talk about the Let's Go Poach Marathon that I ran in Pochev's room on the 29th of October 2022. We will tell you all about it, folks, and we will have a review from the experts, the Pink Tutu Runner and the legend Mr. Julian Kopp. These are guys that have run more than centuries of marathons. They know what they're talking about, folks, so you don't want to miss that review and you don't want to miss knowing whether you should go and try it out. I traveled for the race the evening before, folks, even though you can still do this trip in the morning of, on the morning of the race. The reason I did that, folks, is that it's a 5.30 start, so if you're traveling from Johannesburg, you may have to leave at 3.30 to be there in time for a 5.30 start. Now, if you get a tire puncture on the road, that must just be the end of your, your race. So I thought, let me go the night before, get some good, nice sleep, and show up nice and fresh as you know folks with marathons they're unpredictable there are all sorts of things to deal with on the road and the last thing folks you want to deal with is fatigue when you can easily avoid that so if you have the option of sleeping over in Pochepstrom I would definitely recommend that you do that folks this is 78 of 100 before 40 for me John is number what? 133 Let us tell you what's you. going on. It's drizzling. Yeah, yeah. When we got yeah, yeah. here, it was actually raining. And I sat in the car. I wasn't going to go out until it got better. I hope it won't rain cats and dogs on the way. Great vibe. Pretty such a small field, but we are holding up the back. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> Julian and I are right to the back. And today, I don't think we will overtake half the field. No, because there isn't a half to overtake. <laughs> there isn't a half to overtake. As you can see, we are right to the back, and everyone else is in the front. And they all look fast as well. So. Except for Don. Yeah, Don's well. the only one will probably overtake. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Fox, today is about doing it in quarters. 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, then 10.5 until we get there. So we've just crossed the 10.5 mark. Uh, I'm still with the legend, Mr. Julian Cobb. And Fox, I do the least of the talking. Let him talk because he knows what he's talking about. Julian, an update. Yeah, Fox, weather's still fantastic. Route has been absolutely brilliant. The stress to the oh dam was great. Thank and you. there goes Robert from Clarkstall. With yeah. his green and blue numbers showing off nicely. <laughs> Flying past us is Clarkstall guys. I've got no respect for tourists. <laughs> <laughs> Fox, it is still enjoyable. The weather is still brilliant here. Yeah? And just to confirm, those are 21 k's passing us, not 42. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We hold the record for being at the back for the most part of the race. But there's one guy behind us. So we're not really right at the back. And we will keep at, talking to you, Fox. A decent pace, huh? Yeah, it is a decent pace. I think that's 6.30 right now as yeah. we go. So in case it's just over hour. We're good. Probably a 4.40 is, is doable here. Unless if there's hills. surprise hills that come later.
We are back, well done lady. We are back in keeping with our plan. Yeah. We are running quarters, 10.5 at a time. So we've just hit the 21 oh, wow. kilometer mark. That means we've now done half. Half done, half to come. There have been a few developments in terms of the terrain. Julian, sum it up. Yes, uh, well, we've been undertaking a lot of big caves climbing a bit. Weather's still fantastic. So hopefully we'll have a nice, easy second half. Yeah, hopefully, because we still have a good four kilometers to go before we turn around. Uh, I hope there's no surprise here, then, because you always get these surprises. Yeah, absolutely. By the time you come back, you wonder whether you've been climbing or you've been going down. The same road. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Fox! You are still looking good too, guys. You... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fox. We appreciate the turnaround point. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. Well done, Jules. Yeah, it's just up the hill. Yeah. Right, folks, I'm back. Um, I'm on my own now. I dropped the other guy, the legend Julian, around 21. I decided to step it up the beach to make up for last week's very, very bad race. Uh, I'm kidding, last week was just a tough race. Anyway, like I said earlier, I'm going to take it in quarters. So this is the third quarter here, 33.75, time check 340, so I have about 9 kilometers to go, hopefully I can do that in an hour or so, and that will be a good run. When you see us sitting down, you must know it's done and dusted. Another 42 has fallen. I'm with the A team, the Dawn and the legend Julian. I'm actually conflicted. I don't know whether I should go right or left first. Dawn is still busy washing his face. He has, he has to do his makeup first. So while he's in the studio sorting out his makeup, let's talk to Julian. But in a nutshell, folks, I enjoyed the race, uh, so we told you about the weather for so many times. It stayed lacquer all the way, it didn't rain or drizzle at all. So that scare at the beginning when we got here uh, just was a scare because we, the organizers did well to delay the start by 15 minutes. That gave us like a break, so the rain just stopped and we carried on. There was no sun at all, it came out and then yeah, for probably a few seconds and that was that. Uh, all the way I enjoyed, uh, I, I don't have anything to complain about and the 
good thing with running with the legend Julian is that you go out slowly. So I did go out slowly and then I came back a bit fast and I, I enjoyed it. Uh, okay, Don is done now with makeup. This Dawn, is final, 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 final marathon for the season. Uh -huh. I'm done. I got my ass whipped. <laughs> <laughs> now, Don is just saying, but but I think you must start off by telling us, this is number what again, Don? 133, Jan. Yeah. And for the year, if you're saying you're done for the year, I don't know. I didn't get it. Say, he's even lost count. count. That's what oh. happens. Anyway, quick, quick, Don, 30 seconds. Give us your Thank final you. review. Uh, it's, it's a good race, fast. Uh, but all he just needs more people and it needs to be advertised more. These races are really nice. And the price for the race is top notch. Yeah. He yeah. forgot to tell you about the loop around the dam. But Julian mm. will tell us. Let's that go. view. Bro, that yeah. view is to die for. Fantastic run. Great route. Um, especially the beginning part going over the dam, or past the dam. Um, yeah, challenging course. Uh, you had to work in the, in the out and back section. But yeah, I recommend this people to come. Very small group of people. Hopefully next year they'll get, the, they'll get a, a bigger crowd. The 21s and 10s and 5s, and they must have got a 1,000 people. So uh, they had quite a good turnout there. But they, they only had about 50 people for the, uh, not even, probably 50 people for the marathon. So hopefully they will um, learn from this and uh, go for it for next year. But folks, I can recommend it. Come do this next year. Great people, great time, um, great, great run. Let's go porch. 42.2k done and dusted. 100 before 40 moves on. We look forward to 79. Until next time, folks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.